Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard and today I do not have an episode. We've got something very different and this is things you need to know about WWE Supercard. I'm going to be making another video guys which is not an episode either and that is going to be on a completely different matter so I'll be uploading that probably tomorrow or the next day so stay tuned for that. But this episode is a couple things you absolutely should know already about WWE Supercard. And if you don't, I'm going to go through all of them today. So, let me bring out my trusty list that I made. I had this idea for a video while I was in France, and uh, why not? So the first thing on my list, guys, is if you guys know back in Season 3, when you're playing Ring Domination, the shards counted as two resets towards your pool. This is no longer a thing in Season 4, so yeah. Basically, if you are counting your pulls, make sure that your shard in Ring Domination is only counting as one reset. Most of you probably already know this, but if you don't, I have this question asked a couple times on my streams. Only one reset now as Season 4 started. Next thing on the list, guys, is a website which is called Smackdown Hotel, which is very, very useful, not only for players who want to see the card stats and want to compare their cards, but also for content creators who want to make thumbnails, who want to get them on their screen, just I do, for my last pull. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to quickly show you. Um, there we go. Smackdown Hotel, you can see it on the screen right now. It's a really good website. Go onto it on your browser, obviously. You can do it on your phone and everything. You have all the tiers here at the top. If you Let's go onto Titan here, because it's the, it's the highest tier in the game right now you'll see that pretty much most of the cards are on here. Um, if you, I don't know, let's say you pull an Alexa Bliss, for example, and you want to see what her stats are, there you go. You can also right-click, you can save this image, and then you can use it on your thumbnail or your overlay or whatever you want to do. Uh, it is a transparent image as well, so that is very, very useful. But not only for that, guys, you can I'll just compare stats, of course. Um, you have tabs here, so if you just want to look at male superstars, there you go, all the male superstars. If you want to look at just the female superstars, there are all the female superstars. If you want to look at event cards, there are the event cards, guys. Is there any event card? Uh, not that I can see of, apart from Rusev, obviously, that's not on there. You can look at your, all the supports you can get in Titan. You can even look... Uh, no, you can't look at enhancements. But yeah, we, you can go into any tier. Let's say you are just dying the game and you want to look at all the legendary cards, well there you go, you can go look at all the legendary cards, you can look at just the superstars, um, very very useful guys, so yeah, make sure you guys, if you need this, make sure you use it, once again, it's called Smackdown Hotel, and it is a very very good key to use, so let's move on to the next thing guys, which is enhancements, do not count as your pull, um, again, a question I get asked many times on my streams and stuff like that. Um, oh, I put enhancement. I'm not happy. That sucks. Enhancements do not count. If you pull a Titan enhancement, if you're in Titan tier, or if you're in Beast tier and you pull a Beast enhancement, they will not count towards your pull. So you can, you can breathe a sigh of relief if you didn't know this now. But at this point, everyone should have known that enhancements do not count towards your pull. The next thing on the list, guys, is... Now this is a big one, this is probably the biggest thing on the list because this is still very new to some people as it came out in Season 4. And that is, if you're in regular Titan tier, so let's quickly go on to Wild, um, oh, I can't, wait. why can't I go on to my, oh we have to edit, okay, we'll go on to edit deck, um, click on my Titan tier, there we go. So right now, let's go all the way down. If you're in standard Titan tier, okay guys, this one right here, um, it will take you 300 resets to get your pull. Now, Obviously you can get early, excuse me, obviously you can get early pulls, you can get your pull back to back, you can get it after 20 resets, but most of the time, and the the highest you can probably go to is about 300, 301, 302 at the very most probably. Um, so yeah, you're, you want to look at about 300 resets for regular stand, and this goes for every tier now as per season 4. It's a lot, that's why it's not actually that good being in the standard tier. We move on to Titan Plus, or again, plus of any tier. It is 180 resets, so it's, it's, it's drastically gone down from the 300 to the 180. Again, get an early pull, 
um, but you will probably be getting your pull at around 180. It's not like you can go to 250 or something, you will get it at 180, 181, 182, 179, around there, you know what I mean. And then we move on to the plus, pluses of the tiers, and it is 120. Of course, again, I'm going to repeat it just so no one is like, oh, but dude, I got a pull after 20 resets. You can, you can obviously get early pulls, but for Time++, plus plus, you're looking at 120 resets. The highest I've seen someone go in Time++ plus plus is 123, and that is, that's three resets after. So 300 for Standard, 180 for Plus, and 120 for Plus+. plus. And guys, the last thing on this list that you guys need to know about Supercard is that PvP is broken for a lot of people. Um, again, I get comments, I'm like, I didn't get my rewards, what's going on? It's normal, guys. Well, it's, it's not, but it's become normal because Supercard don't care about it. They don't. Cat Daddy, pro obviously they know about this problem because it's been going on for months now, but they haven't fixed it yet. So either they can't fix it or they literally just don't care. Um, uh, for example, Flame, you guys know who Flame is if you have been watching this channel for a while. His PvP has been broken for God knows how long, for, for months now. He, he the, the, Okay, the occurring problems are, you're in a league on your own, you're in the league with the exact same people. That could, that could You can be in the league with, with some other people because they move up with you or they move down. Well, that can happen, but with every single person the exact same... That's not being in the league on your own, um, not getting your rewards. That's a huge one, of course. Um, being top five, not getting promoted into the next uh, tier. So if you're in silver, you finish top five, then you should go into gold. That sometimes doesn't happen. So all of those problems are literally something that is very common now in Supercard. Me, for myself, I've had no problems with PvP. So I'm just going to say I'm lucky with that. But I do know so many people have problems with it. It's not something like outrageous anymore because it's happening to so many people. So yeah, you guys should know all those things about Supergod. I hope this video helped. If there is other things that I didn't think about and that you guys have, that things that new players or just people at this point should know about Supergod, drop it down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around it, and stay tuned for the next video just like this coming up tomorrow. Peace out guys.